Prologue The Birth of Angel Arya and Demon Edison In the celestial realm, where the forces of light and darkness coexist, the extraordinary tale of Angel Arya and Demon Addison begins. Born from the cosmic energies that shape the universe, their existence was destined to intertwine in a dance of duality. Arya emerged with ethereal grace, her celestial wings unfurling in radiant hues. Her eyes sparkled with the pure essence of compassion, and every step echoed with the melodic harmony of benevolence. She was a beacon of serenity, a guardian of the divine. Contrastingly, Addison's birth, in the depths of the infernal abyss, was accompanied by billowing shadows and the ominous whisper of malevolence. Horns adorned his head and his crimson wings bore the marks of ancient battles. Addison embodied the essence of rebellion an enigmatic force of chaos. Their celestial and infernal energies resonated across the cosmic tapestry, drawing them closer despite the vast expanse that separated their realms. The cosmic forces recognized the potential within their convergence, an opportunity to explore the uncharted territories between angels and demons. As Arya and Edison took their first steps, into existence. A celestial prophecy echoed through the astral planes. Their destinies were entwined, and a unique bond would form, transcending the boundaries of their celestial origins. It was a tale of redemption and hope, a narrative that would redefine the cosmic balance. Their birth signaled the beginning of a cosmic experiment a profound exploration of whether angels and demons could coexist and, perhaps, find common ground. The universe watched, with bated breath as Arya and Edison, representatives of opposing forces, embarked on a journey that would challenge the very fabric of their existence. Chapter 1. Opposing Destinies In the vast expanse of a parallel universe, Arya calls the angelic city her home, while Edison finds solace within the abyss of demons. Their celestial and infernal abodes stand as living embodiments of the delicate equilibrium between good and evil. However, the serene balance that has prevailed for eons is about to be shattered by an enigmatic event. One fateful day, a disconcerting disturbance ripples through the fabric of their parallel existence. Arya, surrounded by ethereal beauty in the angelic city, and Edison, engulfed in the ominous shadows of the abyss of demons, simultaneously sense the abnormality in the cosmic currents. The resonance of this disturbance echoes through the celestial and infernal realms, signaling an impending upheaval. As the mysterious event unfolds, it casts an unsettling shadow over their opposing destinies. Arya, her wings shimmering, with celestial grace, descends from the heavens to the edge of the abyss. Edison, his form wreathed, in darkness, ascends from the depths to meet her, at the boundary, between their realms. Arya, Edison, the harmony of our worlds, is disrupted. Have you felt the tremors, in the balance? Edison, Arya, even in the abyss, the shadows stir, with an unease, something is amiss. Arya, we may be opposites but we are bound by the cosmic order. Let us join forces to uncover the cause and restore balance. Edison, an alliance between an angel and a demon, a curious proposal 
Yet, the threads of fate seem to intertwine our destinies. Their eyes meet, one reflecting the purity of celestial realms, the other embodying the darkness of infernal abysses. The cosmic disturbance serves as an unlikely catalyst for their encounter, setting in motion a journey that transcends their inherent differences. United by a common purpose, Arya and Edison prepare to face the challenges that lie ahead, their destinies converging in the face of cosmic uncertainty. Chapter 2 The Enigmatic Soul In the parallel realms of celestial splendor, an infernal darkness, a soul, ensnared by an ancient curse, descends into a state of disarray. The cries of this lost soul echo simultaneously in the angelic city and the abyss of demons. Arya and Edison, though inherently different, share a common disquiet at the disturbance caused by the tormented soul. Drawn together by the cosmic turmoil, Arya and Edison decide to investigate the origin of this enigmatic soul, understanding that its cursed existence poses a threat to the delicate balance between their worlds. Arya, with her radiant wings, and Edison, shrouded in shadows, traverse the boundary between their realms. They meet at the crossroads of light and darkness, where the cries of the cursed soul resonate most profoundly. Arya said, Edison, this tormented soul threatens the very fabric of our realms. We must set aside our differences and work together to save it. Edison said, an unlikely alliance, but the cosmic forces seem to demand it. Let us delve into the mysteries surrounding this cursed existence. Guided by the shared goal of salvation, they embark on a perilous journey into the depths of their parallel worlds. The enigmatic soul becomes a focal point in their quest, as its cries serve as a haunting melody, urging Arya and Edison to unite against a common adversary. As they delve deeper, into the cosmic mysteries, the contrast between their celestial and infernal attributes begins to blur. The collaboration between angel and demon becomes a symbol of harmony, challenging the preconceived notions of their opposing natures. The journey to save the enigmatic soul becomes a transformative experience for Arya and Edison as they navigate through the intricate web of cosmic fate discovering that the true power lies in unity rather than division. Chapter 3 the Peculiar Covenant Faced with the daunting task of rescuing the tormented soul, Arya and Edison find themselves at a cosmic crossroads. The very fabric of their parallel universes trembles with the weight of the enigmatic soul's plight, and an unconventional solution beckons them. In the heart of the celestial realm and the depths of the infernal abyss, Arya and Edison stand before a cosmic entity that senses the urgency of their mission. The entity proposes a peculiar covenant, a binding agreement that transcends their inherent differences, requiring them to forge an alliance beyond the boundaries of light and darkness. Arya, with her luminous aura, and Edison, cloaked in shadows, 
exchange a wary glance before acknowledging the gravity of the cosmic proposal. The terms of the covenant materialize as ethereal symbols that intertwine around them, creating a connection that surpasses the conventional constraints of angelic purity and demonic malevolence. Arya said, Edison, this covenant demands that we set aside our inherent nature. Are you willing to embrace this peculiar alliance for the sake of the soul? Edison said, a temporary alliance with an angel. Unthinkable. Yet the cosmic forces have spoken. Let the peculiar covenant guide us through this perilous collaboration. The moment their agreement is sealed, another worldly resonance envelops them. The celestial and infernal energies converge, creating a harmonious blend that transcends the traditional boundaries. This peculiar covenant not only binds their fates, but also unlocks a reservoir of combined strength. A force capable of navigating the complexities of the troubled soul's predicament. As they step into the uncharted territories of their collaboration, the peculiar covenant becomes a testament to the potential harmony between opposing forces. Arya and Edison, guided by the unconventional terms, embark on a fantastical and perilous journey to fulfill their shared destiny and rescue the enigmatic soul. Chapter 4 The Beginning of the Adventure Arya and Edison, bound by the peculiar covenant, venture into the uncharted territories of the soul's essence. As they traverse the intricate landscapes within, they encounter surreal phenomena and tap into powers previously unknown. The cosmic forces guide their journey, and the very fabric of the spiritual plane responds to their combined presence. The soul, a swirling maelstrom of emotions and memories, reacts to their arrival. Arya's luminous aura and Edison's shadowy silhouette weave together, creating an otherworldly symphony of light and darkness. The spiritual landscape transforms, mirroring the evolving harmony between the angelic and demonic forces as they navigate through the ethereal realms, the characters of Arya and Edison undergo profound trials. Arya's unwavering compassion and Edison's tenacious resolve are put to the test, each challenge strengthening the bond forged by the peculiar covenant. The cosmic entity's unconventional guidance becomes a beacon in the unexplored territories of the soul, leading them through trials that transcend the boundaries of their individual natures. Arya said, These realms are beyond anything I've ever imagined. The emotions within this soul are like a turbulent storm. Edison said, Indeed, but our peculiar alliance seems to resonate with the very essence of this place. Let's press on, Arya. The soul's liberation awaits. As they progress, the soul reacts to their presence, its chaotic energy gradually stabilizing. The once confused memories within the soul begin to align, and the oppressive forces that held it captive start to wane. Arya's compassionate touch and Edison's determined guidance become beacons of hope in the otherwise tumultuous spiritual landscape. In the midst of this adventure, the Peculiar Covenant continues to exert its influence, shaping their journey and opening gateways to realms unexplored. The beginning of the adventure marks not only the exploration of the soul, but also the evolution of Arya and Edison, as they discover the transformative power of their harmonious collaboration.
Chapter 5 Transformation of the Soul In the midst of the ongoing adventure, the hearts and minds of Arya and Edison undergo a profound transformation. The once clear boundaries between their contrasting natures begin to blur as they delve deeper into the mysteries of the soul. Arya's radiant compassion, like a soothing melody, begins to resonate with Edison's shadowy determination. Their interactions, once marked by opposition, now take on a harmonious quality. Through shared trials and challenges, they gain insight into the unique strengths each brings to the collaboration. Arya said, I used to see only the darkness in you, Edison. But now, I understand that your strength has its own purpose. Edison said, And your unwavering compassion, Arya, has a power that complements the shadows within me. Together, we are more than the sum of our parts. Their evolving understanding of each other extends beyond words, transcending the boundaries of their celestial origins. As they progress through the ever-shifting landscapes of the soul, their collaboration becomes more intuitive, each anticipating the other's moves with a newfound synchronicity. Simultaneously, the soul they seek to rescue undergoes a parallel transformation. The chaotic energies that once bound it in turmoil begin to stabilize. The conflicting memories within the soul align into a coherent narrative. And the once dissonant emotions find a harmonious balance. Arya's emotions, represented by a radiant light, transmute into a luminescent force that bathes the soul in a healing glow. Edison's shadowy essence rather than opposing, now complements this light, creating a unique and vibrant spiritual symphony. Their journey becomes a testament to the transformative power of collaboration, where the fusion of opposites results in a harmonious whole. The soul's transformation mirrors the inner changes within Arya and Edison, showcasing the profound impact of their evolving alliance on the very fabric of the spiritual realm. Chapter 6 The Choice of Endings in the culminating moments of their odyssey, as the soul stands at the crossroads of destiny, Arya and Edison confront a profound choice that will resonate across the tapestry of their intertwined fates. The celestial realms hold their breath as the duo faces a decision that transcends the boundaries of good and evil, love and sacrifice. Arya and Edison, once bound by the constraints of their angelic and demonic origins, now stand united in the face of an existential dilemma. The soul, a vessel of countless experiences and emotions, gazes upon them with anticipation. Arya, our journey has led us to this crucial juncture, Edison. The soul seeks resolution, and we hold the power to shape its destiny. Edison said, Choices define us, Arya. This soul's fate lies in our hands. What path shall we pay for it? As they contemplate the cosmic significance of their decision, the realms of light and shadow seem to hold their breath. The very fabric of the spiritual plane resonates with the weight of their choices. Arya said, Love has guided us through this adventure, 
Shall we let it guide our decision now? Edison said. Sacrifice, too, has played its part, but what change shall we usher in, and at what cost? The ethereal surroundings bear witness to a moment suspended in time, Arya and Edison, once celestial adversaries, find a shared understanding that transcends the boundaries of their origins. The soul, a silent spectator to its own fate, awaits the verdict that will shape its existence. As they reach a consensus, the soul undergoes a final transformation. The harmonious fusion of Arya's light and Edison's shadow takes on a new significance, becoming the catalyst for the soul's rebirth. The choice made by Arya and Edison becomes the concluding note of their extraordinary journey. Love, sacrifice, and change intertwine to weave the tapestry of a new beginning. The realms of angels and demons resonate with the echoes of this decision, marking the end of one fantastical story and the dawn of another. A story that awaits eager adventurers in the boundless expanse of the spiritual realm. Chapter 7 A New Fantasy Adventure The weight of their decision lingers in the air as the troubled soul's fate becomes intertwined with the collaborative essence of Arya and Edison. The cosmic balance, once disturbed, begins to stabilize, and the surreal landscapes transform into a canvas of equilibrium. As the adventure concludes, Arya and Edison find themselves back in their respective realms, the angelic city and the abyss of demons. The cosmic disturbances on Earth subside, and the denizens of both realms sense a subtle but profound shift. Their collaboration becomes a whispered legend in the parallel universe inspiring other angels and demons to venture beyond the boundaries of tradition. The once opposing forces discover the untapped potential of cooperation, unraveling new fantastical adventures that ripple through the cosmic tapestry. Arya said, Our journey may have ended, but its echoes will resonate through the hearts of those who dare to embrace collaboration. Edison said, Legends are born. From the choices we make, our tale becomes a spark, igniting a new era of possibilities, for angels and demons alike. The curtain falls, on Arya and Edison's adventure. But the stage, is set for countless new narratives to unfold. The parallel universe, once in disarray, finds harmony in the unlikeliest collaboration, becoming a testament to the enduring power of unity and understanding. As the legend of Arya and Edison spreads, it sparks the curiosity of other celestial beings, beckoning them to explore uncharted territories and redefine the boundaries of their existence. The universe, now infused with the spirit of cooperation, brims with potential for new fantastical adventures that transcend the limitations of destiny. And thus, in the aftermath of their extraordinary journey, Arya and Edison become catalysts for a new era, an era where angels and demons, once divided by nature, unite in the pursuit of shared destinies and the endless possibilities of a balanced cosmos.